Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing um, conic section and this is a lecture number 8. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 7 before watching part 8. In this lecture, we will discuss about the ellipse. This is the third lecture on ellipse and eighth lecture on conic section. So, let us start some question uh, which I would like to discuss because theory has been already completed. Now we will have to discuss some problems. So let us start some problems. And the problems which I am going to discuss from uh, the exercise uh, 11.3. We had already uh, discussed uh, question number 1 and 2. Now let us start from question number 3. And in these questions we have to find, uh, find the <coughs> vertices foci eccentricity eccentricity length of major axis length of major axis and length of minor axis length of minor axis and length of lattice rectum <coughs> length of length of minor axis minor axis and length of lattice rectum length of lattice rectum of the following of the following question following question right questions so we will have to discuss and now question number three we are looking for question number three and this question is said about x square by 16 plus y square by 9 is equal to 1. So we can comparing with comparing with x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. We have <coughs> a square is 16 and b square is 9. So clearly a is greater than b here right now. So a is 4 and b is therefore a is 4 and b is 3. So a is greater than b and now we will find a vertice h. Vertice h is because axis h lies along x axis. So major axis h, major axis h along x axis along x-axis and therefore vertice edge is <coughs> vertice edge is plus minus a0 that is plus minus 4 comma 0 and eccentricity is eccentricity is e is equal to under root 1 minus b square by a square that is E therefore e is equal to under root 1 minus 9 by 16 that is under root 7 by 16 so under root 7 by 4 this is eccentricity and therefore vertice h vertice h <coughs> vertice h already discussed therefore foci is foci foci is plus minus a e comma 0 that is <coughs> comma zero. This is the foci and uh, length of major axis is length of major axis is two a. That is two a. That is two into a is four, so two into eight. Length of minor axis minor axis is two b. That is two into three. That is six and length of lattice rectum is and length of lattice rectum lattice rectum is 2b square by a that is 2 into b square is 9 and a is 4 so this is 9 by 2 so these are all answers i hope you got it now question number 4 is there and question number 4 
is nothing else but uh, there is another question x square by 25 plus y square by 100 is equal to 1 clearly here a is 5 and b is 10 so here b is greater than a or a is less than b so therefore <coughs> major excess major excess lying along lies on y axis isn't it so therefore vertices is equal to vertices is 0 plus minus b that is 0 comma 10 plus minus 10 0 comma plus minus 10 that is the vertices right and a center city will be a is 5 and b is 10 so eccentricity therefore eccentricity eccentricity is e is equal to under root 1 minus a square by b square that is 1 minus 25 by 100 this is 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 and therefore this is equal to root 3 by 2 and now Okai is, okai is 0 plus minus BE, 0 plus minus BE, that is 0 comma plus minus B, B is what? B is 10 and E is root 3 by 2 plus minus, so that will be, that is 0 comma plus minus 5 root 3, that is okay. <coughs> Now, uh, length of major axis, length of major axis, major axis is 2b, that is 2 into 10, that is 20. Length of minor axis, minor axis is 2a, that is 2 into 5, that is 10. And length of lattice length of lattice rectum is equal to 2 a square by b because a is less than b so 2 into 25 upon b is 10 this cancel 5 times and 5 5 to 25 so that would be 5 okay so i hope you got it okay now the next question is here and question number that is 5 and question number 5 is x square by 49 plus y square by 36 clearly clearly here clearly a square is 49 that is a is equal to 7 and b square is 36 this employ b is equal to 6 so therefore since a is greater than b major axis is along next is is along x axis x axis right and therefore vertices is vertices is plus minus a comma zero that is what um, plus minus a is seven and b is zero now eccentricity eccentricity is e is equal to one minus b square by a square that is 1 minus 36 by 49 that is under root 13 by 49 so under root 13 by 7 therefore Fukai is equal to Fukai is 0 plus minus b a 0 plus minus a and therefore it will be a that is 0 and plus minus root 13 this is the focal <coughs> now length of major axis major axis is 2a that is 2 into 7 is 14 length of minor axis minor axis is 2b that is that is 12 and length of lattice rectum length of 
let us rectum rectum is 2b square by a that is 2 into 36 upon 7 that is 72 by 7 <coughs> unit answer. So these are two things that uh, we can write about this. Now let us uh, solve question number next question that is question number 6 and question number 6 is there that x square by 100 plus y square by 400 is equal to y. So clearly here if I am comparing with a square is 100 and b square is 400 that is a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20. So a is less than b right now. So it means the major axis major axis is along y axis y axis and therefore vertices vertices are 0 comma plus minus b that is 0 plus minus 20 and eccentricity eccentricity is eccentric City is eccentricity is e is equal to under root 1 minus a square by b square that is under root 1 minus 100 by 400 that is 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 so that can be written as root under 3 by 4 under root 3 by 2 right now therefore here uh, foci foci is 0 plus minus be that is 0 and plus minus b is 20 and e is root 3 by 2 so that can cancel 10 times and that is uh, which is equal to what which is equal to 0 and plus minus 10 root 3 that is 0 plus minus 10 root 3 this is foci and now length of major axis major axis is 2a that is 2 into 240 length of minor axis minor axis is 2b that is 2 into 10 here length of major axis is 2b and that is 2a 2b that is this and 2a that is 2 into 10 is 20 and length of lattice rectum length of lattice rectum lattice rectum is 2b 2a square upon b because a is less than b so that is 2 into 100 upon 20 this cancel 5 times 5 to get 10 so that is the length that's right now. so i hope you got all these things now some more question of the same category that is question number 7 that has been written here that 36 x square plus 4y square is equal to 144. So that can be written as x square upon 4 plus y square upon 36 is equal to 1. So clearly if you compare with x square by a square y square by b square a is 2 and b is 6. Now uh, we have so a since a is less than b here and therefore the major axis is along y axis major axis is along y axis along y axis and therefore vertices is vertices is 0 comma plus minus b that is 0 comma plus minus 6 right so this is a uh, vertices now length of major axis eccentricity first eccentricity is Centricity e is equal to under root 1 minus b square by a square actually but here since a is less than b so that will be 
a square by b square a square is 4 and b square is 36 so 1 minus 1 by 9 is root 8 by 9 that is 2 root 2 by 3 now uh, eccentricity is there so we can write here foci foci is plus minus 0 plus minus b that is um, 0 and plus minus b is what b is nothing else but 6 so 6 into 2 root 3 6 into 2 root 3 that is 4 root 3 4 root 2 4 root 2 0 comma 4 root 2 and then now uh, major axis major axis is what 2 2 b that is 2 into what 2 into 6 that is 12 minor axis is minor axis is 2a that is 2 into 2 which is 4 and uh, lattice rectum lattice rectum is nothing else but 2 a square by b that is 2 into 4 by 36 6 that is 3 so 4 by 3 is the length of lattice rectum 2a square by b now the next question is here and the question is question number 8 now question number 8 and this is given as 16x square plus y square is equal to 16 so if you divide it by 16 both the sides x square by 1 plus y square by 16 is equal to 1 so comparing with again uh, if you compare with x square by a square then a is 1 and b is 4 now uh, since a is less than b and therefore the major axis major axis is along major axis is along uh, y axis right and therefore vertices is equal to what is the vertices vertices is equal to 0 plus minus b and that is 0 plus minus 4 eccentricity eccentricity is, is um, e is equal to under root 1 minus a square by b square that is 1 minus 1 by 16 that is under root 15 by 16 is equal to under root 15 by 4 and therefore foci is uh, 0 plus minus b e that is 0 and b is 4 for cancel so root under 15 plus minus so these are foci. Now uh, we can have major excess, major excess is major excess is 2b that is 2 into 4 which is minor excess is minor excess is 2a that is 2 into 1 which is 2 and length of lattice rectum is lattice rectum is 2 and a square by b that is 2 into 1 by 4 that is 1 by 2 so length of lattice rectum is 1 by 2 now one more question of this category that is question number 9 and question number 9 is 4x square plus 9y square is equal to 36 that can be again written x square by 9 plus y square by 4 is equal to 1 so clearly comparing with x square by a square, x square is 9 and b square is 4. This employee a is 3 and b is equal to 2. Here a is greater than b. So major axis is lies along x axis. And therefore major axis lies along x axis. Major axis is along x axis x axis so now uh, vertices is vertices is plus minus a comma 0 plus minus a comma 0 plus minus a comma 0 that is vertices is plus minus 3 comma 0 
and eccentricity eccentricity e is equal to under root 1 minus a square by b square that is under root 1 minus a square is 4 by 9 that is under root 5 by 3 okay so foci foci is what foci is plus minus a comma 0 and uh, that is what a is a is 3 so root plus minus root 5 comma 0 that is the foci now length of major axis length of major axis major axis is 2a that is 2 into 3 which is 6 and length of minor axis length of minor axis is 2b that is 2 into 2 which is 4 and length of lattice rectum is lattice rectum is 2b square by a here that is 2 into b is 4 and a is 3 so this will be 8 by 3 that will be the answer so length of lattice rectum is 8 by 3 so this is the answer so i hope you uh, got all these things at all in uh, doing all these things I'll discuss uh, some more questions Find the equation of ellipse. Uh, now, some more question in which we have uh, some information, but you have to find the equation of ellipse. So, question number 10 Find the equation of ellipse. Find the equation of an ellipse. Ellipse whose vertices is whose vertices is plus minus 5 comma 0 and foci is foci is plus minus 4 comma 0 so solution since vertices and foci vertices and foci are lies along along x axis therefore center is here center is 0 considering center is 0 uh, as per the given conditions so vertices plus minus a comma 0 that is plus minus 5 comma 0 is given this employee a is equal to 5 foci is given here like uh, plus minus a comma 0 that is given plus minus 4 comma 0 this employee a is equal to 4 and therefore e is equal to what 4 by 5 because a is 5 so e is 4 by 5 now b square is equal to what is that a square into 1 minus e square since we know e is equal to since e is equal to under root 1 minus b square by a square so that can be written as because here a is less than a is greater than b that i assume so 1 minus b square by a square so b square by a square is equal to 1 minus e square and therefore b square is equal to a square we can write it 1 minus e square b square is equal to a square 1 minus e square so it will be nothing else but uh, we can write it a square is what 25 and 1 minus 16 by 25 that is 9 by 25 so it will be 9 so b square is 9 now equation of ellipse therefore equation of ellipse is equation of ellipse is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 and that is what which is a square by x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 and that is 
which is x square by 25 plus y square by 9 is equal to 1. Answer. Now the next question is question number 11. And this also find the equation of ellipse. Equation of ellipse whose focus is whose vertices is vertices whose vertices is vertices is zero plus minus thirteen and foci is foci is zero plus minus five. Now we can write it uh, since vertices and focus all lies along solution. Since vertices and focus foci lies on y axis y axis so therefore equation of ellipse will be therefore vertices 0 plus minus b that is 0 plus minus 13 so therefore b is equal to 13 right and uh, foci is foci is 0 plus minus be that is given here 0 plus this employee be is equal to 5 and e is equal to 5 by 13. Now uh, a square is equal here eccentricity because a is less than b na? so here eccentricity is under root 1 minus a square by b square so that will be a square by b square is equal to 1 minus e square and a square is equal to b square 1 minus e square that is 1 minus b square is 13 square so 1 minus 5 by 13 square is 12 square so that is 144 clearly so that will be 169 into 1 minus 25 by 169 which is 144 so a square is 144 and hence therefore equation of ellipse age equation of ellipse age x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 that is x square by 144 plus y square by 169 is equal to 1. That is the answer. Okay. Now, uh, one more question. And the question is, question number 12. Find the equation of ellipse. Find the equation of ellipse. Equation of ellipse. Which vertices is with vertices? Which vertices is vertices is um, plus minus six comma zero and foci is foci is uh, plus minus four comma zero. So vertices and foci all are lie on x axis. Here solution since vertices and foci are on x axis therefore equation will be vertices which is plus minus a comma zero that is given plus minus six comma zero this employee a is equal to six and foci is nothing else but uh, plus minus a comma zero foci is plus minus a four zero which is that is plus minus a comma zero and this employee a is equal to four and e is equal to four by essentially uh, b square by a square and this employee what is that that will be mm -hmm. b square is equal to a square into one minus e square so a square is 36 and 1 minus 4 by 9 that will be uh, therefore b square is equal to 9 minus 4 
that is 5 by 9 that is 6 into 5 by 9 9 4 is 36 4 5 they are 20 so b square is 20 now equation of therefore equation of ellipse is of ellipse is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 that is what x square by a square a square is 36 y square by b square b square is 20 is equal to 1 that will be the answer so there are few questions the conditions are given and on the basis of the conditions you have to find the equation of ellipse and hopefully you understood it how and uh, why this can be written so this is all about and uh, this lecture i hope you have enjoyed it and rest of the questions we will discuss after the break right that is in next video so till then keep watching god bless uh,